stage, Mr. Nick Makoski. Thank you, thank you. So how are you doing? Sports news, sports news is crazy. Uh, Michael Sam and Tom Brady. Let's just say if you play with balls, there's no room for you in the NFL. <laughs> Kicking you out. Uh, they, speaking of the NFL, the NFL actually gave out their first ever lifetime contract a couple weeks ago. Sorry, Aaron Hernandez has agreed to play a lifetime sentence for Massachusetts State Prison. It's progressive, it's, it's, it's good, I appreciate it, you know? Did you guys hear about uh, Kylie Jenner Challenge? Have you heard about this? What the Kylie Jenner Challenge is, is these teen idiots are sucking on shot glasses to make their lips full and voluptuous. But it doesn't work out well. They end up having like big floppy lips, like a, like a hooker in Chinatown kind of lips on her face. And uh, <laughs> thank you. And uh, one girl did it, and her lip actually exploded. But it's cool because uh, Kylie's sister Kim actually did something a couple years ago similar. It also involved lips and poor decisions. So you know, whatever you got to do to get famous is fine. I hope that she stars in uh, the Sex Take Part 2, because I'm really looking forward to that. It's like, spoilers, come on, let's do it. Women are crazy, they, they do crazy stuff. The craziest thing that women do, for me personally, is they take selfies, and they put like a song lyric or a quote on top of the selfie. Like, she's a wildfire and she just needs to blow free. It's like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, why are you putting this over top of that? So I asked the girl, I was like, why, what does it mean, what the song lyrics? She's like, oh, I just put like how I'm feeling. It's just how I'm feeling in the day. I'm like, oh, okay, I got you. So I take a picture of myself naked and put horny underneath of it. My Instagram got shut down. But I'll tell you the same thing I told that judge. It was just the tip. Speaking of crazy women, I, I do have a girlfriend. Sorry, fellow ladies. Um, I keep that straight sometimes. I do have a girlfriend. I have to do something that I never thought I would have to do in my life. I have to introduce my 29-year-old girlfriend, she's a little bit older than me, I'm 24, to my dad's girlfriend, who's also 29 years old. <laughs> and it scares the shit out of me. I don't want to be wiener cousins with my dad. That's like my number one like fear in life, is just like, he brings up a girl like, meet your new mom. I was like, yeah, we've met. How's that rash? It's funny, I, was, I met her through Skype, obviously, because they live back in the mainland. And whenever I first met her, I was talking just to my dad, and it was dark, and I couldn't really see him, and I didn't care. I've seen him every day of my fucking life. I don't care what he looks like. So then she comes in, I'm like, oh, we'll turn on the light. And then I see her, and they're like in a bed. And I'm like, whose house is this? And he's like, oh, it's Emily's house. And I was like, oh, that's cool, because I don't see a fucking ring on my dad's finger. And I start screaming at the Skype, and she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I didn't know, blah, blah. I'm like, it's kidding, he's a whore, it's fine. Just, just go for it. The girl I was Skyping with last week, his other girlfriend, she said the same thing. It's fine, it's no problem. But at the end of our Skype session, I was talking to her and I was like, being serious, I was like, uh, listen, if anything ever happens to my dad, I want you to, want you to call me first. Because I rock, paper, scissored my brother and I get to pull the plug. <laughs> I'm the beneficiary of his life insurance. I'm gonna pull that thing out of the wall and be like, ding, 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 triple cherries, yeah! It's like swinging it around. That joke is not for everybody. It's for people that have shitty dads. Any vegans in the house? Anybody a vegan? Good, I fucking hate vegans. They are the worst people in the world. In my book it goes vegan and then child molester. That's how much I hate it. The only difference is child molesters take what they can get. That joke also is not for everyone. I hope that if a vegan dies, it's an animal related death. If they're driving down a road and they hit a deer, it's like blood everywhere. It's like, if you ate that deer, you probably still be alive, so fuck, sucks to be you. If you don't understand my hatred for vegans, it's because you don't have one on social media. What they do is they just constantly post pictures of salads and all kinds of stuff. And it's just so annoying. I equivalent to if you have someone who has a newborn child on social media. And all they do is post pictures of the newborn baby over and over again. The only difference is I don't want them to choke on their baby and die. Thank you very much. I'm Nick McCoskey. Have a great night.